hail the hashtag reset gods, I guess. Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we started making our way through Hooktail's castle and we ended off by getting a game over and I hadn't saved since we entered the place, so I had to do a bit of backtracking, which is unfortunate, but it was all worth it in the end because I got ourselves a Power Plus Partner Badge, which is, or not Power Plus, a Close Call Partner Badge, which is significantly less useful, but it's a badge nonetheless, so I suppose it's okay. But whatever, just skip through all the dialogue and get ourselves the key again. Let's see if I can actually do this this time. I still haven't saved, so if this recording fails or if I fail this puzzle again, it's going to be really unfortunate. Let's try and look our way around first, see what went wrong. Okay. What I need to do is, oh, I need to go up around here. I see. I get it. It's just that, like, on this TV, it gets kind of dark in the uh, background up there, so I wasn't able to see that there was a walkway. And the spikes make it kind of hard to see it, too, so... That was unfortunate that we actually lost to this. I've never actually failed it before. Maybe I did back in the dizzy day. Who knows? Who remembers? I certainly don't. Let's just get out of here for real this time. I have no interest in seeing whether or not I could actually open the door when the spikes are down on the ground, because you'd think you wouldn't be able to, since the spikes are already covering up the door, you wouldn't be able to open it up, but whatever, we've made it. Let's get out of here. Man, that was too close. Gotta shake it off. Whew, okay. We got the key, so let's go open that spooky chest. Oh! But before we do that, actually, nah, it doesn't make sense to do it later. Let's go ahead and open this up now. Hey there! Boy, am I glad you found that key. Unbelievable! Wee Fools! Oh my god, I totally didn't see this coming! Why, only the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would it fall for that scheme like that! The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly woogly boo! Wee! Now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold R! You mean it wasn't paper before? Wee! What a curse! Who curses like me? No one! Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse is! Go on, press and hold R! Press and hold R now! Terrifying. Wee! Just look at yourself, how embarrassing for you! Eat a sandwich, skinny! Do you understand what the curse means for you? Yes, horrifying. Yes, then very well, you dumbbells! I thought I said something else for a second there. Wee! -hee -hee. Wow, he really is evil. He's not even going to explain to us how the curse could somehow be helpful to us. That fiend! Like, for example, we're trapped in this cage now and there's no way for us to get out. But we just go ahead and hold R, and our partner seems to be cursed as well, because we can just slide on through the bars. I always refer to this as the Paper Thin ability. I don't know if it has an official name, but this is just what I've always called it. And it seem, seems like I've uh, gotten some of my friends to call it that as well, so that always makes me happy. In here we got the Attack FXR badge. These badges do not cost any BP, all they do is change the sound effects of Mario's attacks. I really hate these badges, because it just sort of... Uh, where the heck? Okay, that heck, coops. It just sort of sounds tacky. I kind of like just the regular sound effects, but if you want to go ahead and pick it up, then you can. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is actually go backtracking through Hooktail's castle because there are th some things for us to get now that we have the paper thin ability. The first of which being something that we didn't actually need the ability for. I actually forgot. Excuse me. I actually forgot something in this room, so I gonna want to show you that if you hold down uh, coops right there. And if we use this ability to ride the purple block up, I was trying to do it before, but I was just like, isn't there something over here? I didn't remember. There is. We just had to ride the purple block and get a star piece. There you go. But now that's taken care of, we're going to want to go back around because there were some jail cells that we couldn't enter before because they were closed off. But now with the paper thin ability, we can easily access them. So I will see you guys whenever we find those rooms. And it just so happened to be the very next room, so that uh, transition was completely redundant. So we're going to go into this cage, which ever so conveniently has a few of the bars missing. And we're going to get ourselves a castle key required to actually finish the dungeon. So I guess it's not optional that you go through here. I don't know if I said it was optional or not, but whatever. We got it now. I believe that's the only thing you need to do. 
Uh, yes, this is like back at the beginning, right? Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut away to when we were back in that room with the save block that I'm still not gonna use. Also, I just realized Hooktail has a bunch of stars all over his floor. How nice he likes his interior decorating. I like how the walls are all torn up and covered in cobwebs, but the floor stays all nice and shiny, has the nice little star pattern, not even chipped away or anything like that. Looks very nice. Good to know that he takes care of at least some of his castle. And again, redundant explanation of me transitioning because it just went ahead and uh, me talking wound up having that happen and this is all very poorly worded. But whatever, just stand on this block, have Koops use the shell toss, and we just ride up here. And Mario looks all tired because he's below 5 HP, how sad. Uh, we're going to want to do is go over here now. Uh, that key will us go in there eventually, but I think over here, there's a badge that we could get later. Is that the one that we just got? The Cole's Call Partner Badge? It is, so wow, we, didn't even, we don't even need to pick up this one because we got another one. I guess you could stack them and increase your chances of luck, but still, it's kind of funny that we found another one. Uh, we just open this up, head in here. And we got a heal point, I'll actually take it. Oh, in this dimension, this is my first time using it, so they gave us the explanation again. Uh, we got ourselves a blue block right here, hit it. And it creates a bridge. Simple enough. But now, ZOMG, it's on the other side. How could we possibly get over there? Just shell toss. Duh. Switching it up a bit, but it's still easy and whatnot. Now you see this window is open, so that makes it a per perfect opportunity to jump out the window. But thankfully there's a ledge here for us to walk on. We go over to the right, there's a star piece. And there's nothing else over here, so we just ride on over to the left. Ride on, it's like a Pokemon, we all live. In a Pokemon world. Apparently they're streaming all the episodes of Pokemon on Twitch right now, and I haven't watched any of it just because I don't have time for that. I don't have time for fun. Like I'm too busy having fun with the video game to have fun with watching Pokemon. Oh hey, look at there in the audience. It's a Luigi. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Luigi could sometimes appear in the audience, which is kind of funny. How wonderful of him being supportive to his brother, even though we didn't let him go on the adventure with us. Yeah, I still don't care about him. Now that's taken care of, head on up here. And we keep on using the same old shell toss puzzle over and over and over. The puzzles get a lot more complex later on, trust me. It gets more exciting when we have more party members. Uh, if you jump over there, that's not how this puzzle works. My apologies for messing that up. Uh, just go and do that, do this, but we did see that there was an item over there that we're gonna want to get because it is very, very useful. Oh, I remember, how could I forget, you just jump off a cliff to get ourselves a life shroom. It restores 10 HP whenever Mario or a partner falls in battle, which is very, very good. Um, I'm gonna get rid of, I still have that dizzy dial from before, I didn't use it on the red bones fight this time, so we'll just get rid of it. And very bouncy item. Uh, we're gonna have this happen again. Probably the last time we're doing this. Whee! Sounds like someone telling on someone in first grade or something. Hit the dry bones, or the dull bones, excuse me. Went ahead and got rid of those guys for you, so you didn't have to watch all of it. It's locked, you can't open it. So sad. I guess we'll have to go the other way that isn't locked. In here we got ourselves. Hello. Yes, we got hello. Huh? Oh my, who is this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Hey! Who are you? Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the glop trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Um, well, you see, we're here to beat Hooktail. And get the, um, crystal star. So, don't think we'll let you get the crystal star first. No matter how cute you are. Crystal star, you say? <laughs> I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. <laughs> um... Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this crystal star first, and I already found the badge I was after. So I'll let you get your crystal star. Um, 
Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it means I must say bye bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met, and already it is time to say farewell. Alas. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you best hooktail. Oh, so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already. Maybe not. If you're going to fight hooktail, I recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one. Full of romance. Yes, that was Miss Mao. It's a very interesting character that just pops up throughout the game, which is very interesting and funny. But she did give us a hint that uh, the thing that we need to defeat Hooktail is a badge of some kind. And it's actually the thing that uh, the letter was referring to, the thing that starts with CR and ends with Ikit. And in fact, we actually do have it in our possession already. The Attack FXR badge is what we need. Because if you use it, you could hear... That apparently sounds like a cricket. Like I said, it was called a frog in the Japanese version. I think it does sound more like a frog, but I guess for an American audience, they thought it sounded more, more like a cricket. I I know that like for uh, Japanese, uh, like just any language in general, uh, when switching around the languages and whatnot, it uh, they have different interpretations of what things sound like. Like for example, of course, the everyone knows that cats in America, we uh, refer to the noise they, they make as meow, but in Japan, they call it nya. So, maybe you would interpret it a bit differently in that regard, but, uh, I'll get rid of the mystery. <laughs> um, in this case, it's sort of awkward, because cricket and frog, I don't know, it just sort of sounds the same. Like, I've heard it before, and I remember first time playing, I didn't recognize that this sounded like a cricket. I just didn't hear it, and here's our second shine sprite, by the way. Is it second or third? Uh, second. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound like a cricket or a frog to me. Like, I just didn't, it didn't click with me the uh, first time playing it. And like I said, you don't need this badge to defeat Hooktail. It just makes things a lot easier for you. So, if you don't want to have it equipped, just have it equipped for the boss fight. And then you'll be good to go. Because it'll make things easier for you. Uh, we're just going to keep on going through here. And we got even more enemies for us. Oh, I don't need your special bonus because I just got myself a level up. So, we already upgraded our HP and FP, so up next is BP, our first BP upgrade. Unfortunately, it's only 3 to 6, so it always seems underwhelming whenever you get it, but 3 BP, still 3 BP. Shouldn't complain too much. So, into badges we go. What could we equip with this? The Power Bounce badge is honestly not that helpful for the boss of this area, so for that reason, I'm actually going to equip Happy Heart and Multi Bounce for the time being. Uh, since I've been getting a lot of stinging hits and with all these dull bones and... Uh, paratroopas, it would be good to get some HP rejuvenation every now and again. And the multi bounce could get things set up so we could have all the Koopas knocked on their backs and then Koops could follow up with a power shell. Very, very good in that sense. Guess I could go ahead and show off how the uh, multi bounce works. We're gonna go ahead and jump it, jump it, jump it. I like how Mario has a different sexy pose for every uh, jump he does, which is very funny. Four easy star points for the affordable price of 19.95 or something like that. Get all that. Ooh, we got hearts this time. Very nice. Keep on going through here. Any more enemies? Doesn't seem like it, except for that one. Over here, we got another switch. Have it come down and use the power shell. Not the power shell, the shell toss ability. You getting sick of this thing yet? Go up here. We got a very narrow pathway, but we could hug against this uh, wall to make sure we don't fall. Did not move that to somewhat rhyme. Uh, is there anything to the left? To the left? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, we just go over here, use the paper thin ability. We did see a star piece back there, so we're gonna go ahead and get that before heading off on the plane. And somehow it didn't fall! Hooray! A lovely piece of a star! Like hearing the little jingle. Keep on going this away. And we're good. Wahoo! There we go. In we go. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have much else to talk about. Uh, we were making our way around this castle castle pretty quickly. Now it's Scottish, apparently. It's like the Scottish castle, the Isle of McDonald McLock, or whatever that uh, final movie was. We got another castle key. Uh, if you jump down here, though, you see where we end up. We end up back where this thing with the last stand partner badge. Oh, wait, this is a different badge, actually. It's not close call partner. It's last stand partner. 
Drop the damage your ally takes by one half when in danger. Wait, is it last stand? I always get last stand close call mixed up. Is it close call partner? When your ally is in danger. Oh, it makes it so they miss sometimes, but the last stand, it makes it so they the damage is reduced by half. Okay, so we did get two different badges. That's good that we can get multiple of the same badges. Multiple of the same badges. I don't think that's a sentence, but whatever. Uh, I'm just going to check down in here real quick to see if there's something I missed. Probably feels like I did. Uh, not hit the save block. I uh, don't think there is... Yeah, there's that thing over there. How do I get to that little cranny? I see that little... Oh, wait. That was where I got the star piece that I missed in the last episode. I'm stinking dumb. Okay, there's nothing else we missed. So, I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys back upstairs where we were before. And no, I'm not going to commentate all the way until I get there this time. Make it up these stairs, and we see that there is a shine sprite here. So we got three shine sprites before we even go to Hooktail, like I said. If you want to go back to Rogueport and upgrade Koops or Goombella for the fight, be my guest, but I am not going to because that takes way too stinking long. And I don't need no stinking upgrades. I could beat him with one paper folded behind my paper. Or whatever. Are we seriously here already? Wow, I did not actually think this was the end of the area. But this dungeon went by a lot quicker than I remember it. Uh, going and these are a lot of enemies. Oh, geez. Not sure how that works. Well, that was unfortunate. Now that that atrocity is over, followed by the even more atrocious atrocity. Is it atrocity? Atrocity? I don't see it. Oh, we got a mushroom. How wonderful. I actually don't want it. <laughs> Uh, we got enough mushrooms. I never use fire flowers, though, so... Uh, I'll just leave it. <laughs> uh, get the heart, get the coin, but yeah, we are actually up here. Seen this for the first time. It was so stinking fulfilling, mainly because it took literally years to get up here. Hopefully, this LP does not take years to complete. Just walk on up here. This very cool spiral staircase with a spiral camera angle. And eventually... We have made it to the- We have made it to the spiked Goomba. Wow. And another item I can't hold. I actually want this one though, so we'll get rid of a fire flower. But yes, at long last, we have made it to the top of Hooktail's castle. Next time on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we are taking on the dreaded Hooktail. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. Thank you.